All oh, right. Oh, hello. So, what are we making today, Ollie? A stool. Yeah, a stool. Let's get to it. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna try and make a uh, workshop stall for myself and my stepbrother. He's setting up a bike restoration page on YouTube and Instagram, and I thought a nice thing to do with him would be to do a live edge stall just like I want for my shop. So I've picked up these lovely bits of wood um, from uh, a friend, um, fairly cheap as well, but nice quality, hefty as well. So this is going to be the main body of the stool, and then I'll either use this or I'll use some oak that I've got to make the actual frame. Uh, the frame I'm going to look at making is going to be the same as Jay Bates's one, so I've downloaded some free plans that he's got on his website. I'll put the link up there for you um, for the video as well, and we're going to see how we get on. Okay, so I've got my four sets, or two sets, sorry, of legs all cut out. I tell you what, this oak is a dent. It's heavy, very heavy. So I've got my brother's set, which are actually slightly thinner, and then my set, which are slightly more beefy because I'm a bit heavy as well. Um, so what I need to do now is get them to roughly the same dimension. I say this every time, I'm not going to do any more builds without plans, yet here I am. I had a plan, but I'm not following it, I'm just sort of making it up as I go along, and I need to stop it. So, seriously, if next time you see me doing a build without a plan, please just give me shit in the comments, it's absolutely fine, alright? I've been having a mare with these legs, so trying to do it the way that Jay Bates did it, I couldn't figure out how to do it properly. So. That's why I've slightly gone off script. But I think I've roughly got them right now that when I cut these up, because I've tried to do it in a block to make it easier, they should all match. That's the plan. But I was really struggling to get them square and get them to actually match up and be the right height. But I think I've done it now. Still don't know how I'm going to attach this, the seat to here. Um, I'm going to do half lap joints for all of the rails and styles and everything. It's just the top, I don't quite know what I'm going to do yet, so it's, I don't know. Still need to figure that out. I wanted to do like a mortise and tenon thing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to figure that one out. And I don't want to use pocket hole screws or anything like that. I could dowel it, which could look quite cool actually. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, I need to sort these legs. So as you can see, I've got one side of the stool done, so I've only got three more to do because I'm obviously doing two stools, but these are my first ever half lap um, hardwood joints. That is pretty good, so I'm going to dowel these into place, glue and put a couple of dowels in. I think I've got some hardwood dowel, if not I guess I'm going shopping.
benefits of having a big workbench now. Okay, so I need to level this chair. Um, it's quite clearly that leg that's short, and I know that. So I've got a little screwdriver underneath. This is perfectly flat on top. So I've got this 18mm ply that I cut in half on the bandsaw when I was testing it, so I know it's equal thickness all the way around. So what I'll do is I'll just draw on all of the legs like this, cut it off, and then in theory, it should be flat. We'll see. I know it seems like a lot to take off, but I'm not that worried because I know I made it high anyway. So all I've got to do now is cut on the lines and I'll be done. So I think I'm going to do a couple of coats of this. I'm only going to do a couple on the legs, I know that much. Um, but obviously the top I will do probably three coats maybe. I would have probably done it with some spray lacquer or whatever the hell the English term is for it. Um, but I don't have any. So um, I always go back to my old faith for the Vosmo because I do love how it comes out and it does make everything just look absolutely beautiful but I can't wait to see how it works with that top bit with the uh, cedar of Lebanon should look it make make it look awesome this is quite boring so I'll probably see in a minute There you go, all finished. Got some uh, lovely cedar of Lebanon for the top. Uh, the live edge, obviously, which I wanted to keep just on either side. And then I've got the solid oak uh, legs and rails and everything on there. Uh, all completed without a single screw or mechanical fixing. It's all done with actual joinery and dowels, which is what I wanted. I'm glad it finally turned out in the end. Annoyingly, I don't have another one here. Um, to show you because it went so wrong in certain places and having to remake it I'd never have made the deadline for it but I've got one and this one I'm actually going to give to my brother I'm not going to keep one for myself I will make another one at some point for me but I wanted my brother to have this one so then his new Instagram page has got a lovely stall in the background that he can hopefully use in his uh in his work I hope he likes it I'm going to drop it off to him at some point soon so if you want to see how that goes check out on the Instagram later on. I hope you enjoyed watching the video of how I made it. Catch you later. 
thank you for watching guys if you want to watch more there's a video here that you'll probably like and also a playlist down there as well if you want to see me making more things like this and stuff for the workshop make sure you hit that subscribe orb and that bell icon so you get notified exactly when I make a new video and don't forget if you want any of my merch or Sean's check out all of our links in the descriptions and you'll be able to pick up something for yourself catch you later